Okay, first thing that needs to happen is we need to find the white chalk pastels. They're in this container. There's actually two of them. You're going to just find one that looks white. Sometimes they might not be white. I don't think that's white. So make sure you find a white one. It's okay if it has a little bit of dirtiness on it, but you could always wipe off a little bit of it on like a placemat so we know it's nice and white. Okay, we're on the side that has the image pushed down. This is debossed. And I'm gonna take the pastel on its side. So I'm not coloring with it like normal, I'm laying it down flat. And then I'm just gently pressing it across the whole surface. You wanna make it even, but ideally, with, and I'm not pushing too hard, but what we want to have happen is the whole surface is covered with the white pastel in a nice even layer. Once you get to the end of covering your design, you can lay or pick up the piece of paper. See, I'm trying to go in one direction there. Okay, looks pretty evenly white everywhere, right? I can pick it up and kind of shake it off a little bit so I have just um, the white pastel. So now I can choose to fill in the different sections in lots of different ways. I can refer to my picture and use just the colors that I see here. Or I can get um, creative with colors of my own. So you have some choices. You can use um, different colors of chalk pastel and very carefully to stay out of the black lines, I can color in different sections this way. Okay, I also can use oil pastel and I don't have to have it match. So there's like these big sections here that um, I can make any color that I want just to make it interesting. So I could just put the oil pastel over the top. It kind of does a different effect. Remember I'm trying to stay out of the white or the black lines. So that's an option. Um, we also can paint different sections. I'll show you that in just a second. Last but not least, we have these little guys. These are called soft pastels. I have some different colors of those. And they can color, they work kind of like a chalk pastel. I have to be really careful, really nimble with my fingers so that I don't cross over those black lines. Those are important. They're like little fences that separate each of the different sections and they're important to keep as part of my design, okay? So that's just some of the ideas. I'll show you the paint in just a minute. If I'm going to add some watercolor, watercolor, a little bit of water, watercolor brush. Um, if I wanted to make a section with the watercolor, I need to get it a little bit wet. Not too wet because we don't want to add too much water. And then if I paint it on, it kind of makes like a cool painterly effect with the white underneath. That looks really cool. Okay, so I could paint different sections. I can do a combination of all of these methods. My goal is just to make something that looks interesting. It does not have to match exactly with your photograph, because obviously this is my photograph this is my image. Remember, this is abstract, so it's okay that it doesn't match, okay? Once this dries, then I can actually go over it and add different textures or details on top of the paint. I can also add different textures or details on top of the other um, designs. Okay, so be creative decide um, which method or methods you want to use. Our goal is to fill up most of the spaces so we've covered all of the white. 